Hey guys, what's up? What is happening? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be starting a new series for you guys called Breaking It Down. So in this series, I'm going to be taking in different Nerf Blasters and basically I'm going to be taking all the screws out, taking the shell off, and trying to figure, see if I can't figure out how the internals of the blaster itself works, and if I can possibly mod it just by taking something out. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of air restrictor um, removals in this series because that's a fairly simple mod to do to your blasters. Um, I decided to do this series because I haven't seen it on YouTube and I basically, oh that voice crack, I basically do this every day after school when I'm at my dad's anyways. Not saying that it's good, that these videos are going to be daily, I'm probably going to like record almost daily, but might not upload daily because of editing reasons, so, you know, anyways, I basically do this every day when I'm at my dad's, because I have nothing else to do, because my PS4 is at my mom's, so, I decided to do it for videos. So, last round I'm going to be doing... And today's er, the blaster I'm going to be breaking down today is the strong arm. Um, this one's not the smoothest strong arm I own. I own three strong arms because they're pretty decent blasters. Uh, this one's my second worst. It's a little rough on the with the spring and everything. Triggers like really rough. So yeah. Really, I'm not going to be too upset if I mess this blaster up because, you know, I have the better version of it, the Disruptor. Sadly, I don't have the um, earlier version of Strong Arm, which I can't remember the name of right now. It's yellow. It's called something different. I want to say I don't know. Let's not spend too much time on that. So, yeah, we're going to be doing the strong arm, which is a little bit outdated, but it's still a pretty decent blaster, not as good as the disruptor. Oh, not as smooth as the disruptor at least. But the strong arm does have some pretty cool features I like about it over the disruptor. And if you guys want me to go over those, I might do a separate video on the strong arm versus the disruptor. Um, if you guys want me to do that, put it in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get this blaster opened. So, from what it looks like, you just going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Um, I have a fine tip right here, Phillips. But I also have this little handy dandy set. You have this and it has different um, heads and stuff. I have three flat heads and one Phillips that's bigger than this in case I need a bigger one. So I have that and yes, you do see a thing of BBs, not BBs, but pellets for airsoft or whatever <laughs> because my setup to record over the table is really bad. It's a container for airsoft pellet things with a selfie stick in it and my phone's in the selfie stick it works and that's all that really matters anyways so I will get back with you guys once I get all of these screws out okay guys so I got all the screws out um, and assuming I I <laughs> assuming I counted correct there should be 12 screws and for the most part, I'm pretty sure they're all the same size. I don't really worry about the size of the screws because it's not that big of a deal. Now, once you screw, unscrew those three, this part will come off. And as you can see, mine's really dirty. So we're probably going to clean that up a bit before we put this back together. Now, I do want to put out a disclaimer. I don't necessarily suggest doing this with your blasters. 
because you may end up doing something that you can't undo. Um, so I do suggest being highly careful if you decide to do this. Now, I'm going to try to get this blaster apart. Now this piece right here, you might want to be a bit careful with, because there is a spring in there. You don't want to mess that spring up, it's with a nail so it's not going to come off. But do be careful with that piece, because that spring, I do not think you want to mess up. That would probably mess up the overall performance of the blaster. But I'm not sure. This seems like a pretty solid place to start. And there she goes. Okay, so that's that piece was not exp oh my gosh guys look at how dirty that is no wonder it's so rough we're definitely gonna get this gun cleaned out like I said this gun has seen its fair share of nerf wars by the way okay so you take that bit out just by doing that so that bit goes in there and then that goes there so we now have that cylinder thing out so we'll put that off to the side so here's the blaster uh well the shell of it at least all it has left on it is the thing that pushes in to allow this to pop out and that came out wow so you can just completely take that off maybe i don't know let's put that back together though I'm put that in wrong. Nope, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this back in because I don't want to mess with that. Too much, at least. But I'm glad I know how this, how that works now, so I won't be as afraid to open up other blasters that work on a rotating cylinder. But as you can see, this gun is super dirty. Actually, I'll I'll leave I'll leave that in for now. So I'll put these two pieces off to the side. On to this bit. Okay. So I'm looking at it. Oh, that piece comes right off of that too. So if you don't want this bit on your thing, that's super easy to take off. That's surprising how easy it is. You just lift it up. Okay. I'm honestly kind of scared with this so that's what rotates that that okay um a little scared to get into this but we're going to because that is the video taking it apart and putting it back together so this screw is definitely different and that's going to be right there on your trigger so Trigger removal is quite easy. Wasn't expecting it to be hard. Now you have this bit back here. Um, so that's on a little platform right there. Or something, I don't know. And that... How was that in there? So that was in there like that. And if I'm not mistaken, that is what part of what primes it. Ah. Okay. So that spring goes in there like that. And that piece goes right there. You want to be very careful when you're doing something like this. Because you have to be able to put the pieces back where they go. And if you're doing a paint job on the blaster, this video would be quite beneficial to watch. Because you, if you're doing a good paint job, you're going to take the blaster completely apart, the shell, all the internals out. 
and just do paint the shell by itself like this part of the shell by itself you might even want to take that piece out which I think would just be with a simple push no I'm not gonna try too hard because I don't need that piece out but yeah so you you you're gonna want it to be just the shell you can leave that in I guess I've painted a couple but I haven't had to deal with that um now here's the tricky bit the trigger is like the easiest part to take out of a blaster um, this definitely needs some cleaning up definitely gonna do some cleaning up on this blaster and see if it runs smoother once I get it done but anyways uh, we do not want to lose any parts that we're not for sure we don't need so this bit I'm looking at it um I think we can just pull this all out right now. Wow, that all comes out together. And then that reveals a little screw in there. That might be a bit hard to see for you guys. And that you're definitely going to need a fine tip screwdriver. So that takes that part out. If you... I actually think you have to have that in there. And so now you have your screw with your spring, which is probably going to be a pain in the butt to get back in there. But if you're painting, it's something you're going to want to do. So you would then pull that spring off of that, off of there, take this bit out. Um, that is what allows you to get your attachments, and that keeps your attachments in place. Um, you'd also want to take this piece out if you were painting. Um, that is... The sling point that's in the in the handle. Um, so there's this little screw that I accidentally popped out, but that's not a big deal. We're gonna go ahead and put that back in there because we are not painting this. We might in the future, but not right now. What we're interested in is this. Oh, I'm really scared to take this apart. Because it looks like it's got a lot of moving pieces. And it looks like it could be cleaned. Okay. So that has a spring back there. Well. I guess the best place to start with this would be to. Take off those screws. Um, yeah. Well, let's move that out of the way for now. Turn on the back, there are two screws back here. By the way, the screw that went with that little spring in the priming area is definitely smaller than all the other screws, so you want to be careful. Um, and the screws in this seem to be the same size, so you can put the screws you get out of this with your other screws. So, so far I've seen three different size screws out of this blaster. Which is always good to have the same size screws. So you have the normal ones. And then you have this little one which is quite odd that they made it black. Because usually their internal screws like this, they leave um, silver or whatever. So now that we have that out, we have, took those two screws out, um, gotta be careful because I don't want to mess anything up. Hmm. Quite interesting. So that is a little thing right there. Oh, okay, that happened. Um, that's kind of scary, seeing how I don't know what that was like. That fell out too. I'm really, like, worried right now, guys. So that was in there in what way? Like this. Okay, that was in there like that. With... 
Put that piece on like that. No. Yes, with that piece like that. Mm -mm. Those pieces. Okay, so that was like that. And then this was in there with it doing something. Okay, that was inside of that. Okay. And then this piece. Does something. <laughs> um. Yes, that has to do. With, okay, this piece right here has something to do with that right there. Maybe, sort of, kind of. Um. Yeah, that goes like that in there. Good to know. So now we know what how that goes. The real thing that I'm curious about is this orange bit right here. Because air restrictors. I want to know if they're in here. Oh, of course they are. But I'm a little bit afraid to take them out. Because I don't know how they work. The spring's definitely not as big as I was expecting it to be. Um, I've seen a lot bigger springs. And if you guys don't know, in a spring-powered blaster like this, the bigger the spring, like longer, not wider. The width d doesn't really change much, and if you, have, if you get a spring with a bigger width, it might not fit, or one with a smaller width, it might not fit the right way which would cause some issues. But the longer your spring is, um, the more power it's gonna have driving the bullet out. So um, if you put in a, if you replace the spring with a longer spring, you will have a more powerful blaster. I don't have any, I have springs, but they're in other guns. So we're not really gonna mess with that too much. Um, other than that spring, you have a small spring there that goes with this. You have a spring there that's holding this in place, kind of. You have a spring in here that does something. Right there. You have a spring there that deals with that. Um, there's the inside of that. The air restrictor is in there. I'm not gonna mess with anything with that air restrictor simply because I don't know like what I'd be doing and I don't want to mess it up because when I'm in this series I'm not researching the inside of the blaster first and watching videos and stuff on it like I would normally do to mod a gun I'm just taking it apart with no intelligence on what I'm doing and looking at it, seeing if I can figure out how everything works. Now, the best way to figure out how this blaster works is to put it back together. And before I do that, I'm going to get these bits and pieces cleaned up a bit. So, oh, excuse me. So I'm going to be back with you guys in a second once I get the shell and everything cleaned up a bit better. Okay, guys, so I got it cleaned up a little bit better. Not a lot. So yeah. Now it's time for the reassembly. AKA the tricky bit. This piece went in there. Like that. Okay. And this piece went in Somehow.
Okay. After quite a bit of silence and you guys watching me struggle a little bit, we're going to re-screw these two screws back in. A little bit scared as to if that is how it was or not. That seems to be what changes the barrel. Which is why it's scary because I do have a strong arm that hasn't been opened. Like, it's out of the box and I've used it. But I haven't opened it up. It's at my mom's. And it doesn't, like the barrel doesn't rotate like it's supposed to after you shoot it or whatever. Um, you have to manually twist it. And I'm afraid that that's going to end up being the case for this one. So now that part is reassembled, let's go ahead and do the simplest part of this reassembly. And put that bit back in there. Okay, that's back. And this part's quite simple as well. We're going to put that back. Actually, we'll hold off on that. Actually, we can clean that a little bit better. Now, some of these spots are quite tricky to get to. It's clean. So it's not the cleanest. But, you know, it's a bit better. So we're going to put that out of the way for now because that's not part of the last we're looking at. This is. Um, which means this piece was the one that went on that side. Uh, here's going to be one of the trickiest parts of this. Getting this spring. Screwed back on. I know I'm getting off camera a little. Thank goodness for this screwdriver being magnetized because I would not have gotten that back in if this screwdriver was not magnetized. So I do suggest using a magnetized screwdriver. Sometimes it can be the difference between getting a screw in and not getting a screw in. Um, but yeah, so now that we got that bit back in, which was a lot difficult, more difficult than I was expecting, um, we're going to put this back. Um, okay, that seems to be how it was originally. Really, this, oh, pff, might want to put this piece back in there. You know, for reasons. I hope I put that back in there right. Was it up or was it down? Wouldn't I like to know? Well, we'll see. Okay, so now that piece is back in. Um, trigger will be next.
And we're going to take that small screw. Let it head. And put that back in. You don't want it too tight because then it'll be harder to pull your trigger. Ugh, hate how that spring is angled like that. Let's see if we can get that angle to our advantage. Maybe. Maybe if we bend it down enough. No long enough. Okay. Anyways. Trigger is moving good. Okay, this piece is the last thing. So, I think I have figured this blaster out, guys. So, what happens is... Hold on. I gotta remember how this piece went in. That's not right. Assuming I can get this piece back in. Yep, we should have put that back in before the trigger. We live and you learn. That's not how that was. Was it? I thought this piece was straight up and down. That's how that was. And then it had a spring. Right there. Possibly. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, that piece is in. Now to, we're gonna move that spring around. Oh, that's why it's like that. Because it's uneven, there we go. That would be a reason why it would do that. Okay, now let's reinstall this trigger. Or not this trigger, but the screw. I guess we already have the trigger reinstalled. Okay, so now for my thoughts on how this blaster works. I think what happens here is you pull this back, taking this back with it. Um, something happens here. So this comes back, pushes that down, which does something. And then this comes back here, and then you, okay, okay, okay. So you prime this back, pulls that, pulls this back to here, and when you pull the trigger, that is locked up in that, or that's in that. So you pull the trigger, which then pushes that down, which then releases this bit that is in there, because that's pushed down, and then spring goes forward and propels the um, air part of that. And bullet goes out. So that's how the actual shooting goes. Now, for this bit, you have this thing right here that somehow rotates that for some reason. I'm not sure how. But that's how I think this blaster works. 
Okay, guys, we're back. Um, uh, okay, that was a weird sound. <clears throat> so, where was I? That's right. Putting this part back on. And seeing if we did everything right is the next few steps. And I almost forgot to put this piece back in. Now, there's a few things that I think I might have done wrong. Those things being this right here and that I might have put that in upside down but other than that I think I did everything right fingers crossed so <clears throat> we now put this back on and it fell out this might be a bit trickier than I was Expecting those in, which we then fold out. Okay, so we're going to put that back on just so it's a bit more comfortable to prime it. We're, okay, so I'm going to put screw these screws back into this part that's not lined up right. screws back in just putting in a few so that it stays together somewhat just in case I did something wrong which there's a very good chance I did yeah that's not good That should not be doing that. Ah, which means we've done something wrong, which is not surprising. <clears throat> which is a little scary. Because although I do have multiple of this blaster, that doesn't mean I want it to be messed up. Because it's a pretty decent blaster, and I would be sad to not have it. That's the problem. So, this right here. Nice little thing that's supposed to catch on there, and it's not. It's probably just because I put that in wrong, like I thought I did. Which you have to be careful when you prime it when the case isn't on it, because then it does crap like this. There we go. So I think I fixed it. Dang it. This usually happens. You get everything put back together, you mess one thing up, and you have to take it all apart again. But that's part of the fun of it. And you may be saying, fun of it? This does not sound like fun. Well, then don't do it. <laughs> I find it fun to take it apart, put it back together, and see how it works. If you don't, okay. You do you. And I will do me. And I 
just realized this piece has to be put there we go okay time to put that screw back on for the third time now lots of trial and error when you do something like this like I said you don't want to have that down too much because you, you don't want to screw it down too much because you want the trigger to be able to freely move but you also don't want to do it too little now if this part pops out super easy put the spring back on there push that back on the little platform fixed um what was I gonna do that's right I was putting it back together so now that's fixed and that's what I think is fixed time to put it back together again right everything looks right yep okay So once again, we're gonna just put those two screws back in. So it's a little bit more comfortable while we're testing the priming and everything. Also guys, Oh, never mind. I'll be able to test. I'll be able to see how good the quality. Well, would you look at that, guys? We did it right. Pulling back, the cylinders rotating. Oh, that's nice. You guys don't know how happy I am that that worked. Okay, sweet. Now, I didn't really find anything to mod upon in this blaster. Um, I could have taken out the air restrictor, but I wasn't quite sure the best way to do it because, like I said, I don't do, I don't watch any videos on how to do these before I open them up. I just open them up and hope that I can fix it, um, which is the fun of it because there's always the scary chance that you can't, which makes it exciting. Anyways, guys, so... Now that it's all back together and seems to be working fine, um, let's go ahead and put some bullets in it and do a firing test. Okay guys, so I don't have all the screws back in, just the two that I put in here. Um, so I have fairly new micro Nerf Elite darts, typical things you That's not good. See? Oh wait, am I not pulling hard enough? Why am I not surprised? Honestly, why am I not? Why am I so surprised that this happened? <sighs> why I only put two screws in? Honestly, this usually happens. It'll it'll be seem it seems to be working right. I'm actually this time not quite sure what's not working right. It's that piece. That piece is not grabbing it. Like it should be.
I don't get it. It was working just fine. Uh, this is where it gets stressful, guys. This is where the stress comes from when you do this. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Why? Okay, that's not completely arranged like usual. Okay. Honestly, don't even get why it's not working anymore. Like, usually I'll be able to open it up, like, reopen it, and figure out what's wrong. But I have no flipping clue right now. Honestly, I'm so confused. Because it was just working. You guys saw that it was working. I'm at a loss of words, kind of, at this point. I'm completely, completely and utterly confused as to why this is not working. I'm pretty sure I put everything back right, like the right way. And I'm a little bit upset that it's not working. Wow. Um. Huh. I'm at a loss of words. I thought it was working too good to be true. Like, usually, here's a little life lesson for you guys. Usually when something is too good to be true, it's not true. <laughs> like, that's just life lesson. Life lessons with James. If something's too good to be true, it's not true. Remember that, and you will be a lot happy, and you will be disappointed a lot less in your lifetime. There goes that piece. Which I do want to know what it looks like without that piece. Okay, that's back in there. With way that see, I screwed that screw in way too tight. Okay. Let's see what we did wrong. I mean, not see what we did wrong, but let's see if we fixed it somehow by not doing anything. <sighs> the spring does not like to stay, guys. Where it sucks because I have to fix that. And the way to do that is by taking the, that piece off and then... That piece goes up. There we go. Okay. Take 10 million. Let's see if we can get it on there now.
that looks quite interesting without that front piece on. What do you guys think? How is it with the front piece off? Okay guys, we fixed it, um, I should probably be questioning how, but at this point I'm not going to, I'm just going to be happy that it's fixed, um, I'm going to go put that bullet I shot back in and we will get onto the firing bit. Okay guys, onto the firing part. Okay, it cocks that time. So we're just gonna be shooting at this wall that's not that far away. Uh, actually, let's get on the side of the camera. Are you kidding me? Why? Seriously, are you kidding me? Oh, guys, it's not working. I don't get it. <laughs> well, time to take these screws back out. I'm so mad right now. I honestly don't even get why it's not working at this point. I know I said that last time. And I meant it. <laughs> and I'm saying it again, because I mean it again. Why? Seriously, why do you refuse to work? You have one job, and that's to shoot pro foam projectiles. It's not a hard job, okay? It's not like you're performing brain surgery. I don't know why you're being so difficult. But it's highly irritating. Like, is it this part itself? Like, you're going back to a certain, like, you're going back. You're just not getting caught on. Okay. Okay, guys. I kind of get it now. I understand what's wrong, but I don't know how to fix it. So, if you guys are curious as to what I just figured out, it's this piece that's messing me up. Because if you notice, when I was cocking it, this piece, which rotates this part, which rotates the barrel, was going back to its full extent. It went back to its full extent, and then it went forward, which rotates the barrel. Which is what I was most afraid of not working, which is the only thing that's working. But not really. So it's not that this thing, it's not that this, this isn't pull coming out. It's that it's not staying with this to actually prime the blaster. So it's all in this that is being messed up. Which is quite irritating because I thought this would be the least significant part. And it's turning out to be the absolute demise of this 
thing working, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to take this trigger out again. I know. You guys are probably getting sick of me watching this taking this trigger out. Trust me, I'm getting sick of taking it out. <sighs> I'm like low key losing it, guys. You can, I bet you, I, you guys can tell though. You hear me. Um, okay. That piece gets caught on this piece, but it's not getting caught on this piece. Which is the problem here. So, that goes there. That goes there. Right? There, yeah, that goes in there like that. Only it doesn't like to be in there. For some reason. So, it honestly might be because I don't have all of it screwed in, which allows that to not be pushed down as much, maybe. Because look what happens when we do. Crap, there was a screw there. Dang it. Oh, guys, this is not going well. There's the screw. Okay. So what's in here that makes that to where it goes with it? Or whatever. That piece right there. Okay, so yeah. <sighs> Guys. I'm like losing it right now. Oh, this video is so long. I like this video. Oh my gosh. It's at 53 minutes. Okay. That's almost an hour. And most of this footage is I'm going to keep in the video because it's decent footage. Like a lot of this isn't going to get edited out. This is crazy. And I'm trying to keep this as like my real expressions and everything. I'm trying to keep this video as real as possible. So me going on rants and stuff is got to stay in to keep it to show you guys the struggle that I'm actually going through to do this. Not so you feel bad for me, but so you know how hard it is to do. Because that is something I feel you guys do need to know. Is that the struggle is real. So. Honestly, I don't know how to fix this at this point. So I'm going to do the only logical thing I can think of. Like, the only logical thing I can think of. I didn't make that too hard of a trigger, did I? Yes, I did. And a little pro tip, if you guys want it to where your triggers are, like, your trigger's a lot softer. Um, open your blaster up and just loosen that trigger. Screw a little bit. And your trigger will slide a lot better. Which is definitely something I want to work on with this blaster. Because this blaster has a horrible trigger. Okay. Now that that's done with that thing. The next logical thing I can think to do with this. Is not take that part out. This piece is a bit of a pain when it comes to modding this gun. I'm not gonna lie. And since I'm putting all the screws back in, we're gonna put this piece back because it looks kind of weird without it. 
I mean, yeah, it's kind of cool. But it looks pretty weird. And it's a piece that looks good on the blaster. Oh, nice. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, boy. And if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now to fix this, all you had to do was hear, I, I pretty much already said it. Screw it, you wanna go there? You can go there, screw. Get it, screw it. Pun not intended or welcomed because I'm not in the pun making mood because I'm really frustrated with this. Maverick, maybe? I'm still trying to think of like the blaster that came before this one. I think it's the... <sighs> I don't want to say the wrong thing and sound stupid. It's not the Maverick, is it? Maverick, Maverick, Maverick. I don't know. I want to say it's the Maverick, but that doesn't sound quite right. yellow and it looks like this only a bit more boxy uh, which yes this is pretty boxy itself especially compared to the disruptor but you know not doing a comparison video right now no nope, wrong way <laughs> we're not doing a comparison video right now we're doing a dang it I lost a screw why am I not surprised that I lost the screw? Huh. No, I see. Oh, there's the screw. I'm seeing bits and pieces of air restrictor all over the ground from yesterday. Because yesterday I did one of these, only I didn't do it for a video, I just did it to do it. And, and I fell out of the chair. Anyways, so, I did this, something like this yesterday, took out the air restrictor of a gun. Retaliator, actually. Anyways, so I did an air restrictor removal on it along with taking all of the insides out to see how it works. Uh. Why? That moves when that moves. That does too, but not very well. <sighs> okay. Um I'm gonna take all those screws out again. Well, we're back to having it like this. Once again. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that's why that's due. Okay. So, I kind of figured something out. So, it is this fault. Like, the fault of... It's this piece right here that's making it to where it's not priming. But it's, like, not like, completely its fault, I guess. Kind of. It's its fault, because it's not put in right. But it has to do with the trigger as well. It has to do with how I have the trigger set up with this. And this is like, it's spring isn't working or something. I don't know why it's not working. I'm so confused. Like, that's not supposed to be where it is right now. Somehow I got knocked out of place. Which is weird. That spring goes right there. Just like that. Wait a minute. Guys, I am so stupid. Maybe. Gosh, I figured it out, guys. Thank the Lord. Here's what's wrong. This spring needs to be on that. Like, on that platform. And when I put this on it, it's not on that platform. Oh my gosh, guys, I think I finally fixed it.
See, that bond between the trigger and that looks a lot better now. Oh my gosh. I feel really stupid. I'm gonna pull these screws back in. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, guys, all of the screws are back in. I think I fixed that piece. Now let's get on to the firing bit for the third time. Here goes nothing. Okay, that was really weird. You guys saw that. All but the last two shots were like fake. And the last two were like really hard. So I'm gonna reload this and see what the heck just happened and see if it happens again. Cause that was weird. Like. That's weird. I'm a little confused. But it's firing at a pretty steady rate, so like it's actually working. So I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm gonna stop messing with that and call it good because I'm completely done with this. <laughs> this video has been over an hour. I was expecting it to take 30 minutes tops. 30 minutes, I was like half, I like, duh, 30 minutes, I was halfway done. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I said that. Anyways, I goes to show you how messed up my mind is after doing this. Okay, but yeah, so 30 minutes into this, I was, like, just getting a fuel for everything. Finally, it's done. Um, most of the stuff is working in it. It does have that weird firing where one bullet, when one bullet, I, uh, I cannot talk. After priming the blaster and pulling the trigger once, the bullet doesn't eject, but after that, all the other bullets eject, so it's not leaving any in the chamber, it's just the first shot you take isn't going to actually fire, and I think, and I hope, that that's not the actual gun's fault, it's just like, re getting used to it or something, I don't know, hopefully it's not something that's going to always happen, and the other thing... Oh, that's right, yeah. So, <laughs> sorry guys, my mind is trying to recuperate from how confused it was about this little gun. Huh. But at least it's actually priming. And then, what's up with like the bullets just barely coming out? I don't know. I'm gonna get a bigger, big, uh, cannot talk. I'm going to get a bigger spring for this, and it'll be a lot better, hopefully. At least that's the plan, is to get a bigger spring. I plan on saving up a lot of money and going out and buying a crap ton load of the same size, but decently long springs to change in and out of Nerf guns when I mod them. But yeah, so, 
this was my extremely long um, breakdown of the strong arm. If you guys like this kind of video, um, hit the like button so I know you guys want me to keep doing these. Um, if you're new to the channel or have not subscribed yet, please do so. I'm pretty excited about this new series coming out. School is almost over, guys. I am so psyched. I have some big things planned for this summer when I can actually make videos with friends and stuff. I'll have a lot longer to make them. Um, I'll have people, I will most likely have people help me edit them and stuff. So videos are going to be a lot more frequent because I'm going to have more time to edit myself. And I'm going to have other people to help me edit it, hopefully. Um, I'm going to have more time to record because it's going to be summer. Um, daily live streams are coming back, or almost daily live streams. Um, yeah, so I got some big plans for the summer. A few video ideas that I'm not going to say yet because I'm not sure if they're going to end up happening. Um, but yeah, I have, like, like I've said for four times now, big things for the plan for the summer. Can you tell I have big things planned for this summer? Because I do. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, as always, this is James, signing off.